every day for body. This thing they call a na serious affair. Oh my god, I love this song. Oh, fine young girl, love it for body. This thing they call a na serious affair. Make you think well before you agree. I beg oh, if you love life, you go plan and well. If you love me, you go wait for me. Oh my goodness, I love this song. Onyeka Onyini, this is my jam. Oh goodness. Erica, do you remember this song? They played it at your grandparents' 35th wedding anniversary last year. Do you remember it? Erica? Come on, don't be like this now. You're going to like it here. Abuja is a beautiful city. So that is why you woke me up at midnight to be roaming about the streets. 5 a.m., not the middle of the night, madam. Can you imagine? Can you just stop moving us around like a tennis ball and move back in with dad? Oh, and by the way, this music is... Hey, girl. Hey, mama. Hey, how are you? What's up? I'm fine, thank you. Where are you? Well, I am on my way to your place right now. Abuja is not legal, so... Uh, and to help me and ask how... Don't mind these shells. Yeah, I had to come out early because I need to stop by the office real quick to, you know, check up on a few things before I fully resume. Yeah, that's why I decided to come out early. I'll make your favorite, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you so much, Auntie Kemi. See you soon. Alright, take care, okay? See you. Bye. Erica, we're going to be staying at I heard. What is this? But why? Why are we staying at the chemist's place when we're only going to be staying for a few months? Stop it! Stop what, mom? Stop complaining! You clearly don't get it, mom. I am tired of making new friends only to lose them again. Listen, Erica, I am sorry, okay, that things are happening this way, but it's not my intention, okay? This is the last time I don't care. I don't care. If I'm too much a burden to you, why didn't you leave me back with Dad? You don't have to be a superwoman, you know. Dad can as well take good care of me. I want to go to my dad. If you love life, you go plan them well. Oh. Please drive the screen. Erica, you know you can actually put that phone down for one minute and come help me out, right? Erica, come on, stop being a brat. It doesn't suit you. I'm hungry. Listen, I'm sure Auntie Kemi is making something for us to eat, okay? But first, come help me out. Let's unpack. How long are we staying here? Well, I'm going to get us a place real soon, okay? So we're not going to be here for any longer. Why did we have to leave Suleja? I mean, it's not like Grandma was asking us to leave her house. Well, I got a job here, so we are starting afresh. What about your job in Lagos? We are no longer based in Lagos. Why? Because of my dad. Because I want to start afresh. Well, I don't want to start afresh. You and Dad got divorced. I did not divorce anyone. So why drag me into it? Erica, will you shut your mouth? No, why should I? I don't like it. I don't want this. I want to be with my dad. Enough. Erica, you've said enough. One more word from me and I'm going to recharge your face. I will not have you disrespect me. Uh, 
I'm telling you, real estate is a new gold mine in Nigeria. I'm not even kidding. You don't say. Honestly. <laughs> girl, like, I've been hearing about this whole real estate thing like booming in the country. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how is everything with the property? Fine, fine. Wow. Babe, you don't believe what happened the other day. What happened? What happened? Tell me. I was showing this client's property. Next thing I saw him checking me out. Uh-uh. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> It's was not a bad thing, girl. Was checking me out. It's not a bad thing. So, did you collect some numbers? Um, Erica. <clears throat> so, what class are you in now? SS1. Wow, nice. You're almost done. I'm sure we're going to find a very good school for you here. You know, they have nice schools here, and the people here are quite friendly. Mom, mom says we're not been out soon. Um, well, I'm guessing it's somewhere around the neighborhood because your mom's workplace is not far from here. <laughs> you know what, Erica? You can always visit me whenever you like. You see, I'm here. Your grandparents are in Suleja, which is less than our drive from here. So, my dear, you have nothing to worry about. You are going to love you here, I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Auntie Kemi, for the food. Thanks, Mom. Sit. But I'm full. I said sit down and finish everything on your plate. I don't want to see anything left on your plate. But Mom! I... Is she still standing? Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain, we all have sorrow, but if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me, when you're not strong, I'll be your friend, I'll help you carry on. It won't be long before you need somebody to lean on. Woo! Then you stop me to be hateful. When you started this, so shh, come here. Mm. You just call on a brother when you need a hand. We all need somebody to lean on. Woo! I love you, Dad. I love you too, sweetie. Come here. Mm. <laughs> so, what did you make for breakfast? <laughs> Hmm, your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so that. It's okay, go change. Go, go get ready. Go, 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 go. Bye. Bye. <sighs> she seems to be so excited this morning. I wonder why. <laughs> hey, as you can see, we're doing okay, even though we miss you so much. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Hey girl, good morning. Hey, good morning. 
I hope you slept well. Yes, I did. What came in? You should have woken up now. I should have oh. helped you around the kitchen when I threw the things. Don't oh, worry, I got this. Guess what? What? I left the house really early and I sold myself a property this morning. Oh my goodness, congratulations. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's cool. Thank oh you. Gosh, that's great. Uh, are you not supposed to start work today? Well, I'm actually starting tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just need to go around the neighborhood and look for a school for Erica. You know, it's the midterm, so I need to look for a school for her as soon as possible. You know, there's one school to exit away from here, uh, although I don't know if they are self students midterm, but there's no harm in trying, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, what's up with Kuli? Does he call you? Well, he calls Erica. And you? <laughs> I'm not interested in talking to him either, so... Yeah. Angela, um... I'm sorry. For what? For linking up with that douchebag. Kimmy, it's not your fault. So it is. I mean, if I didn't introduce you to him, then encouraged you to date him, I wouldn't be in this situation. Come on, girl. I mean, things were not always that way. Okay, a few years into our marriage was actually quite blissful. And then all of a sudden, things began to change and I couldn't recognize the man I married anymore. Well, that's his loss. Because you, my friend, are one amazing woman. <laughs> well, that's what everyone says, but Kemi, I'll not lie to you. It has been hard. Really, really hard. With Erica? With everything. You know, Erica blames me for the divorce and I had to change my job and move out of a city that I love so much just because I want to start afresh. Look, listen, don't you ever think you made the wrong decision. Divorcing that, that asshole was the absolute best decision. Look, I'm waiting for you, baby girl. And you know I'm here for you through thick and thin. It's, it's you and I against the world. Look, thank you so much, okay, for everything. I know that I could always count on you. So thank you. Sure, of course. <laughs> um, are you sure you don't want me to help you out with anything? No, 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 no. I've got this, I've got this. You know what, just give me a few minutes, let me round up with this, and then I'll drive you around the estate so we can find that school. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Okay. Dad? Yes? Are you three come for my PTA meeting on Friday? Do I have a choice? No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wait. But I said you wanted to attend the um, Uncred World Virgin on Saturday. Yes, well, I can take a flight out first thing on Saturday morning and be back before you know it. Do you ever rest? Yes, why are you asking? We're doing everything. I really wish mom was here. I miss her so much. I really miss her too. But hey, we're not complaining, right? We're doing okay. You know I love to take care of you. And I love to work as well. And you can always call me to attend anything, your PTA meetings and all your school activities, anytime, okay? Aren't you the best dad in the world? And aren't you the best daughter in the world? Can you put on some music? Sure. What would you like to listen to? Music. Smarty pants. <laughs> okay. Has anyone ever told you how beautiful you look when you smile? Come and wipe that frown from your face. Smile for me. Come on. Come on. All right, that's my girl. <laughs> Auntie Kemi, why did mom leave dad? 
I want to be with Dad. I I really want everything to go back to the way it was. Do you trust your mom? Do you? Good. So trust that she made the right decision for both of you. For herself. She made the decision for herself, not for me. Okay. So tell me, what would you rather have her do? Forgive dad. I don't care what he did to her. But at least she should forgive her husband and move back in with him. You really don't know, do you? What if I told you your dad was going to harm your mom? Dad is not a bad person. But it was to her. And I'm very sure you saw it act out, Erica. You just chose to ignore it. Dad wants me to stay with him. Mom is the one who doesn't want me to be with him. You know what? You're only 14, so I completely understand your ignorance. But I'll tell you this. Your mom is doing the best she can to survive. So please don't add to her troubles. She has a lot on her plate already. All you have to do is be a good daughter to her. But is she a good mother? Okay, that's enough. I know this is not how you were raised. But just to be clear, in this house you don't disrespect your elders and you don't talk bad about your mother. So comfortable. <laughs> Daddy, mm -hmm. we agreed on two times in a week only you stay in my room. Daddy, oh. go to your room now. Where do you want me to go? There's nowhere for me to go. Your room! Mm, so comfortable here. Okay, you want to sleep here. I have it for me bedtime story. Aren't you so old for bedtime stories, young lady? <laughs> Somebody called the police. So <laughs> the bedtime police actually. <laughs> Actually, like your voice putting me to sleep. Oh, that's so sweet. So, what would you like to read tonight? Harry Potter. Why do you like reading scary books at night? Because I love scary stories. Like mother, like daughter. That's also her favorite genre. <laughs> okay, so why don't we read something a bit more calm, soul searching? Bible story. Yes. Okay. Then let us talk about Lazarus' resurrection from the dead. We can even talk about Noah's ark, how everyone died in the flood. Or even Joe. That poor man really suffered a lot. Why do you want to know about all these horrifying stories? Because I like scary stories. I uh know. -huh. Why don't we do something on creation? Hmm? Huh? Interesting. You would love it. Yes, whatever you say, Dad. <laughs> Get your Bible. You love it, trust me. It's very interesting. Are you ready? <laughs> In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the faces of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, 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 light. And there was light, and God saw that the light was good and he separated the light from the darkness, darkness, darkness. Are you sleeping? Erica?
Erica, I want to talk to you. Can you sit up? Auntie Kemi already said everything. Can you please sit up? I want to talk to you. I understand that you're struggling with this whole divorce thing happening with your dad and I. But then again, you're beginning to turn into something that I did not raise you to become. And I do not like it. Erica, I am your mother. And you must respect me. We found a school nearby. It's a nice school. And you're going to love it. Look. I'm sorry I pulled you out of your old school. I would have enrolled you there, but I knew that we're not going to stay there for long, so. trying my best but you don't understand I am really trying my best to stay afloat and that's why I am begging you to just be on your good behavior please I understand that you don't want to be here that you want us to go back and stay with your dad but the truth is this is our life now your father has moved on and so we have to move on as well we talk every night he misses me he said he didn't want me to go but you got custody I know things did not happen the way you wanted it to no, but it's for the best. Dad loves me, Mom. He does love me a lot. I know. I know. Okay? I and know. I miss him. I miss him so much. I know. I know. I miss how things were before. Mom, I'm so tired. I know. I'm tired already. He's exhausted. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Boys. Gracie, how was school today? Fine. And you should enjoy this. This midterm? Yes, I heard she relocated with her mom. Hmm. Okay. Won't it be hard for her to be able to keep up with her exams, knowing that it's around the corner? I don't know. I don't really care. I don't even like her. Wait. <sighs> Why? Today in class, Sandra told her that she should move her locker a little bit. She, she asked politely, then finally she just snapped. I'm like, why are you being rude? She could have been in a bad mood. Sandra was... <laughs> Dad. Sandra was being polite. I don't even see any reason why she would have actually snapped at her like that. She was being so mean. 
You're right. She didn't have the right to be rude. I learned to give her the benefit of doubts instead of just throwing her over. Are you not going to give her a second chance? Dad, I didn't want to be her friend. Neither do you want to be her. Remember what I taught you. Being angry is an emotion that you don't want and we don't accept in this house. Okay? I'm sorry, Dad. Good. Now smile. <laughs> so, how was school today? Good. Just good? I mean, tell me what happened. I want to know the details. Nothing. Come on, Erica, what do you mean by nothing? I mean nothing happened. It's just the usual stuff that happens in school. Hey, you don't have to be rude about it. I'm just trying to have dinner, Mom. I can see that. And I'm trying to have a conversation with my daughter. But it's bad manners to talk while eating. Isn't it? Well, they said that you're going to get your school uniform and books next week. And you should try to make some friends. I mean, look around, find a brilliant student who can help you navigate around. I know that joining school at midterm can be very difficult, but you're also very brilliant. And I know that you're going to catch up soon. Okay? Thanks for the advice. I think I lost my appetite. Excuse me. Erica! Erica! Hello, Kunle. Wait, what do you mean I'm trying to keep you away from her? Wait, were you expecting me to pause my life so that you can have it all? Look, I don't care what you think. I'm not taking your rights away from you. Listen, you can do whatever you want. You can come and visit her whenever you want, as long as you abide by the law. Weekends, of course. Yeah, just take the next available flight or whatever, but do whatever. You can visit her whenever, but I'm not letting her to come live with you. Never. It's not happening. She is fine. Don't you guys talk to each other every day? Or did she tell that she's not happy with me? She is fine. Jesus, mind your goddamn business. Gosh.
Mom, we just passed Chase's. Mom, why were you so rude? I don't understand. Why did you walk past them the way you did? Ah, uh -uh. was I supposed to hug them? She attends the same school as you, Erica. <laughs> like I care. Oh. Continue to talk. If you like talking, right? The next one is going to go to your cheek. guys are back. How was school? Good evening. Erica? Erica! Welcome. Thank you. What happened? What's wrong? What's wrong with her? Please, she's just being silly. I brought her some lunch. I hope you have not made anything yet. No, I haven't. But what really happened? Babes, just forget about Erica for now, okay? Let her continue making a fool out of herself. I did not kill my mother, so she will not kill me. Please. Oh, God, I'm tired. Okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and serve this then. So, fetch her for lunch? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Why are you crying? Dad. Erica. Dad, please just come and take me out of here. Please, I don't want to stay in here anymore. Please, just come take me. Dad, please come now. Come now, please. Just calm down. I'll call you back, alright? Just don't cry, baby. Stop crying. <laughs> Erica. Was it your dad you were talking with on the phone? Erica, I'm talking to you. Just take me to my dad. I want to be with him. Why are you separating a father and a child? Fine. You want to be with your dad, right? That's fine. I'm going to book the next available flight to Lagos so that you can go be with your dad, okay? It's fine. You don't have to be stubborn about it. I'm the bad person. You don't want to have anything to do with me. It's okay. I'm the one that destroyed your perfect home, right? I am such a terrible person, so of course. Why would you want to have anything to do with me? So it's fine. You can go ahead and be with your father. Go and be with him and his new wife. Wife? Oh, you didn't know. I'm sure your dad did not tell you. Well, your father is getting married very soon. That's a lie. My father is a perfect man. You're the mean person here. You shouldn't have left. Why do you think I left? Do you think I left because I wanted to ruin your life? You think I'm happy being divorced? You want your dad? I'm going to give you your perfect dad. I'm going to give you your perfect oh, dad. What's, what's going on? She's leaving. No, 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 no. Kimmy, I've had enough. I've had enough with her attitude. I am done. She's 14, right? She's no longer a baby. She should can go and be with her dad. I'm the one who has been suffering. I'm the one that had to endure all the emotional and physical abuse from him. 
Why does she think that she's the only victim? I am a victim here too. I'm done. I've had enough. I'm done. Angela, please. Are you happy now? Hmm? Are you happy now that you've hurt your mom's feelings and made her cry? Come on, go ahead, clap yourself. Bravo, go. Angela! child how is saving myself such a hard thing that my own daughter will hate me so much for it she just doesn't know anything she's just being ignorant look whatever it is let's just excuse her for the fact that she's only a teenager she's also in pain from being separated from her father you know it's not all kids that can handle seeing their parents being separated right to explain it to her. I tried it so hard. I never told her all the things her father put me through. I'm trying to protect her. Maybe she needs to know. Maybe she needs a reason to understand why this is happening. Because to her, you just left. I'm tired. Maybe if she knows, she'll know why you had to leave. Maybe I'm tired. It's, it's hard for me. It's so hard. I'm tired. It's so hard for me. It's so hard. Okay. Look, you know Erica has always been a good girl. This is only a phase. It's okay. It's going to be fine. It's okay. Angela, we need to talk. Dad? Erica, where is your mom? Give her the phone. Is it true, Dad? Is that true? Baby, give your mom the phone. I need to talk to her. Are you getting married to someone else? Dad, please tell me to lie. Please tell me you're not abandoning us. Please. Sweetie. We have a lot to talk about, all right? I can never abandon you. Then tell me to lie. Please. Sweetie, give the phone to your mom, please. Erica, baby, are you there? <laughs> Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. I know that you are. So, could you, could you say me a lot about it? Like you used to, when things were good. I'm finding it difficult to fall in sleep. Come here. Mm. 
I love you very much, okay? And I'm sorry for everything I put you through. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know near how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are grey You never know dear How much I love you So please don't take My sunshine away Exams. Yes, mom. Just stop nagging. I wish me luck. All right, good luck. Isn't that your friend? She's not my friend. <laughs> Looks like she's waiting for a cab. Do you think we should give her a ride to school? We should just. Good morning, sir. How are you? Excuse me. What is this? Hi, um, you are, hey, good morning. Well, we saw her stranded by the side of the road and we're on our way to school, so we decided to give her a lift. Oh, I am so sorry. I misunderstood the whole thing. My car broke down and I needed her to take a tricycle. That's fine. Uh, we're actually on our way to school, so it's not a problem with her all. Okay, thank you so much. You have such a beautiful daughter. What's your name, sweetie? Great. Mom, oh, come on, I'm going to be late. Sorry. Um, are you guys in the same class? Mom! Oh, sorry, you know what? Just, you know, go to school. I'll pick you up. If I can't pick you up, I'll ask your teacher to put you in a school bus, okay? okay. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. Get it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Um, good luck with your exams, both of you. Thanks. Bye, Mom. Bye. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, Mama. How's the exams today? Fine. Good? That's fine. And how's your friend? Who? Erica. She's not my friend, though. So you guys didn't make up? I don't just like her. Sorry. Sorry. We don't actually quarrel. OK. Hmm. So you didn't take my advice when I said you should give her a second chance? Dad, I just don't want to be friends with her. It's fine if you don't want to be friends with her. Remember, what kills a man is not what goes inside him, but what comes out of him. So I don't want you hating on her, okay? I promise. Good. So what are you watching? My favorite program. I want to watch mine. Don't move. Think you're fast. Think you're fast. Think you're fast. Think you're fast.
Hey, baby. How was exams today? Fine. Okay. So the girl, Grace, she's in your class, right? Yeah. Okay. Is she a good student? I don't know. Come on, Erica. I'm sure you know all the best students in your class. <sighs> well, she sits in the front seat. Wait, and you, where do you sit? Where they asked me to. Come on, Erica, can you just answer questions in a simple form? I don't know much about her, Mom. Although I hear she's the best student in the class. Best student? Yeah, she takes first position all the time. So why aren't you friends with her? Do I have to? Wait, Erica. Do you even have friends? Erica? Mom, I don't need new friends. Besides, we're not staying here for long, right? You are looking for a place, so we're moving out soon. But that does not mean that you're going to be changing schools. I have friends, Mom. They're in Lagos. You are not moving back to Lagos either. Then who needs friends? People come and go in Lagos. Uh, your bags, don't forget your bags. Me, carry those bags, you're joking. I'm a lady. Hey, me. <laughs> you still awake at this time? I just don't see how now. Me and this channel. Eh? <laughs> you really hold you for work, bro. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I mean, some is work going, babe. Well, work is fine. Yeah. Yeah, you remember I told you that I'm looking for a place, right? Seriously? Do you really have to? Kemi, come on. You know I can't live here forever. But I'm not complaining. Besides, I enjoy the company. Yeah, me too. But I need a space for me and my daughter and her shenanigans. <laughs> well, I'm sure she loves it here too, so. Huh. so. Have you forgotten? She is very unpredictable, so. <laughs> my dear. Raising a teenager is like rocket science. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for that anytime soon, no. What? Well, I have actually seen some teenagers who are better. Yeah, seriously. I just think that I need to accept responsibilities for my failure. Come on, don't say that. Angela, you are great. <sighs> I don't think so. I think I let my issues with Kunle get in the way of raising her. I mean... One needs to be mentally stable in order to impact their kids positively. Kemi. Kunle treated me in ways that I don't even want to remember. And whether I accept the truth or not, it kind of rubbed up on Erica. No, she'll be fine. Erica is a good girl. All she needs is just some stability and then she'll be fine. I hope so. Sounds good, right? So do you want to watch with me? Okay. It's so addictive, I should warn you. Okay. okay. Alright. Let's see what's going on here. Small world. Hi. 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 Sorry, I, I didn't recognize you. What are you doing around here? Um, my friend actually lives here. We're going to be staying with her until we get our own place. Uh, okay. Okay. It's a really small world. I live four houses down the road. Oh wow. Yeah. We're literally neighbors then. Yeah. Um, how is Grace? Gracie, she's fine. She's fine. Uh, today is Saturday, so she usually sleeps till noon. Oh. Okay. Um, my daughter says that she's the best in her class, so. Uh. I was kind of hoping that maybe she and Erica 
can study together. I mean, seeing that Erica just moved in into school midterm, so. I can be worked on. Uh, I'll talk to my daughter about it, and uh, if she's fine, I could drop her off later. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank Good. you. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much. You are welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See you later, okay? Yeah. I'm right. um, sorry. Excuse me. Can I have your number? Sure. I don't have my phone with me, but I can give okay. you... There you go. Okay. Just uh, send me a text okay. and I'll call you. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye. Wondering what Grace wants for breakfast today. Let me go shower first. so much. Hey, sweetie. She's in a better place, okay? And she's watching over us. Okay? Okay. And remember that I'm always here for you. Remember your classmate, the one we gave a lift the other day? Mm-hmm. I ran into her mom while going jogging this morning. You live around here. Surprising, right? She asked if you could help coach her daughter with her studies this weekend. Sounds like something you might want to do. Dad, no, please, I don't want to go. Dad has a bad attitude. Come on, she could be going through a lot. I mean, she started school midterm, and it's hard to make friends at this time. Dad, I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm just a teenager. Smarty pants. But seriously, Anytime I go to work in the morning, you're gonna have a study buddy. And I think it's a win-win. I realize my toenail. 
Sorry? Fine. Just because her mother seems nice and you act nicely. That's my girl. Come in. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Uh, sorry, the gate was open, so we let ourselves in. Okay, it's fine. Um, Angela told me you'd be coming over. Then you must be Grace. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, dear. So I'll leave you in your care? Okay, thank you. Hey, bye bye. Mm -hmm. Now, don't overwork and forget to eat, okay? I won't. Bye bye. Alright, take care. Dad, don't miss me so much. I'll try. <laughs> Come here. Take care, okay? All right, all right. Please, welcome, come in. <laughs> Erica! Erica! Please, make yourself at home, my dad. I'll get her, sit down. Erica! Erica! Auntie, I'm here. What is she doing here? Hey. Um, so your mom asked, Grace to be your study buddy for the weekend and also for the exams. And Grace here was kind enough to agree. <laughs> well, mom didn't tell me that. And I can study on my own. I don't need her help. Hey, watch your mouth, young lady. Now go to your room, get your books, and come down here. I don't have the patience for your shenanigans. Um, I'm so sorry about that, my darling. So I'll go get some snacks and be out of your way, right? Okay. I'll be right back, yeah? <laughs> okay. So the law of diminution return is a theory is a theory in economies that predicts that some of the level of capacity is reached by adding an additional factor of production will actually result in smaller in smaller increase in output just like this sketch over here we have to listen to understand girl i didn't ask you to be here you can't just leave now just quit bugging me and act like a little Miss Perfect. Will you stop with that attitude of yours? It doesn't suit you. I do not want her here. Neither do I need her help. But like every other thing, no one cares about my opinion. Erica, I'm not giving any room for this childish behavior of yours. Grace is kind enough to be here, so you'll be nice to her and study together. I don't care how you do it, but you must. Now apologize to her. What? No, Ma, it's okay. It's okay. No, Grace, she was mean to you, so she has to apologize. Now, Erica! I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. <sighs> okay, so your snacks, and I'll be out of your hair. Hmm. <clears throat> mm. 
So how did it go? Mm, nice. It was okay. Mm. Mm. That's good. So will you be going back? Yeah, until the exam finishes. Well, do the very best you can for her, okay? But don't allow it to affect your own studies. Okay. So do you need any help? Yes. Mathematics. I can see. <laughs> so what do you need solving? Just one. Grace on our way, you guys can burn as we go. Oh, mom. She has a dad who, thank God, has a car. Can you just stop playing fairy godmother and take me to school? I'll be in the car. This newfound anger. I'm so sorry. Sorry, okay? Grace. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You still here? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, you know what? You can come with us, okay? But first, let me call him and let him know, okay? Just hold on. Let me call him. Hello? Hi. Um, this is Erica's mom. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm here at the school. I'm here to pick up my daughter and Grace is still here. Yeah. Oh, it's no problem. It's fine. It's cool. All right, cool. All right. Later. Bye. Um, your dad says you can come with us, okay? He's going to pick you up from our house, okay? All right, let's go. Sorry about that. Erica, go to the front now. No, to the front. Hurry up. Phone down, it's lunch time. Put more. Should please pass your glass over? I can put it by myself. Oh, no, it's fine. I'll help you out. It's okay. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Erica, could you please pass it over to us? Okay. Thank you. So, prayers? Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, bless and sanctify this food in Jesus' name. Amen. And provide for those who don't have people to prepare this for them in Jesus' name. Amen.
Grace, do you like jello fries? Yes, it's actually my favorite meal. But my father does not really know how to prepare it. Oh. Well, you can eat as much as you want. Thank you. You're welcome. What about your mom? I've never really heard you mention her before. Oh, um, she's late. She passed away when I was just eight years old. No wonder you lack boundaries. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Okay, sorry. Can you teach me how to prepare this? It's delicious. Thank you. Of course, I will. I mean, I could teach you more if you want. I would love it. No, no time to love anything. Uh, come on, mom. Every morning you take me to school. When you come back, I'm already asleep. You even work on weekends. You barely hang out with me. So no time for adult daycare. No, please, let's observe our table manners. Okay? Yeah, it's really nice. Come on, eat. Eat up. Why are you not studying with Grace? Uh, because I just got back from school and I'm tired. But not too tired to play on your phone, right? <sighs> you know what? No more phone privileges until after your exams. I'm keeping this. You can't do that! Dad got that phone for me on my 13th birthday. Well, we will see about that. Now get your books and get to studying. Now. Excuse me? Oh, you're quite excused, Miss Goody Two Shoes. Auntie, can you teach me how to make this? I will be her study buddy. I'm not a celebrity yet. You hover around me like an evil spirit. Can't you see that I don't want you here? But I guess you won't notice because you're trying to make me look bad in front of my mom. That was never my intention. Oh, please, just mind your business and stay out of mine. I do not need you as a study buddy. And I definitely do not need you as a friend. I was just trying to be nice to you, but you're so mean, saucy, and rude. Oh. So why don't you leave this mean, rude, and saucy girl alone? Thank you for today. Oh, it's okay. What are neighbors for? Besides, she's a very well-mannered girl. That she is. So I was wondering if she could, you know, come by for some sleepovers. She and Erica can bond very well and you can just have some time to yourself as well. Well, that's something she hasn't done before. So Gracie, do you think it's something you're interested in? Okay. All right then. Cool. <laughs> Good. All right, have a great evening. All right, good night. Right. Good night, Mom. Take care, good night.
I noticed you didn't want our sleepover date. So why didn't you just say no? An adult asked me to sleep over. I'm sure she'd not mean any bad. If you're uncomfortable with something, irrespective of who asks, you can just say no. It doesn't make you a disobedient child. Okay. Saying no does not make you a bad person. And you should learn to draw the line of something you don't like. If anybody has a problem with it, that's their personal problem. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That's good. Hugs. Huggies? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hurry up, pasta tonight. Yeah, sure, of course. But first, go upstairs, take a shower, change your clothes, and come downstairs with them. Okay. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good morning, Ma. Good morning. Um, I'm actually on my way to drop off Erica at school. Why don't Grace join us and save you the stress? I mean, we both don't have to drive over there. Hi. You took it to those people that had nothing to our lives. Um. You know she hasn't had anything to eat, so I want to quickly stop by somewhere she can get something. Okay, that's cool. In that case, I guess I'll see you guys around then. Sure. All right. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye. Ha! <gasps> Finally! We already had breakfast this morning. I know. I just wanted to say something so she wouldn't take you. Gracie, why didn't you want to go to school with them? Oh, this is our only time together before you leave for work. So I wanted to stay with you. That's so sweet. But we both know that there's something new to this. So what's wrong? Erica said I should stay away from her, and I'm doing just that. I don't want to be at the receiving end of our bad attitude this morning. So I'm taking it you guys had a fight. I didn't fight with her. I didn't even do anything to her. So what about your sleepover date? I already told her mom I'm home. I'll think about it. Well. I think that she's still getting used to the place. Or maybe she just didn't like the idea of them moving. But whatever it is, I'm sure it's something that you can help out with. That I don't know. She's always looking for something to start up on arguments. Don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? Why do you always take her side? Gracie, I am not taking her side. I just don't want any external forces disturbing your peace of mind. That's what I'm trying to teach you. Okay? Thankful that 
she's allergic to peanuts. Okay, no peanuts on the menu. Great. Have fun, okay? Dad. Please. Once you go home, please go straight to bed. Please don't overwork yourself. And turn off the AC. The last time you caught cold, you stressed me. Okay, mother. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. You guys have fun, okay? Okay. All right. All right, Grace. Let's go upstairs. Erica is upstairs, okay? Everything is prepared. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Sweetie. Erica, Grace is here. Why didn't you come downstairs to welcome her? <laughs> I was just with my book. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to bring you young ladies your snacks, okay? I just hope you guys have a great time and I'll be right back, okay? You wish. What did you say? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I was just talking to myself. Be nice, Erica. All right, I'll be back, okay? Hi. So get this. From here to here is my spot. And that's yours. So stay in your lane. Do not cross mine. And leave me alone. <laughs> the one in my room, are you already spoiling things? <laughs> to my scene. You already spoils my mood with your presence. Girl, like, this is my kind of movie. Very edgy. I love it. Like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Are you kidding me? It's not. I love it. Hey, look at you, Miss Prima and Proper. Oh, at least what's the time? What? 130 because of this movie. Babe, this, I have to complete this movie. Do you know how long I've been trying to complete this movie? I have to complete this movie. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're up all night. Yes, girl. <laughs> what dad gave me before we left, right? You remember it, right? Okay, what, what's going on? What's wrong? Okay. I was asleep. I woke up pressed. I, I went to the bathroom to go and ease myself. I'm going to pee. And then I tiptoed back because I, I didn't want to wake her from sleep. When I came back, I wanted to check the time. I looked at my wrist and I couldn't find my watch. Okay, just calm down, Erica. Are you sure you were putting on your wrist watch before you went to sleep? Yes, I I was wearing it and she took it. I swear, I did not take anything from her. Please, I did not take anything from her. Liar. You a liar, you little thief. Please. You know it's not good to accuse someone wrongly, right? She's the only one with me in this room. But I accuse her, you either believe other people than your own daughter. Why don't you believe me, mom? I'm your daughter. Why don't you believe me? Erica, calm down. Calm down. Ma, please, can you call my dad? Please, please, come on, it's late. Ma, please, I want to go home, please. You go nowhere. My watch. Erica. I am really sorry. Stealing is such a big deal. And to have my daughter humiliated, I am lost for words. Sorry.
<laughs> Angela. I didn't steal the item. I know you didn't. You would never do such a thing. I told you I didn't want to be her friend. Sorry I made you do something that you didn't want to do. It will 
will never happen again. I promise. Father at home? I am really sorry for what happened. Erica was wrong. And I promise you, she will never do something like that again. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. It's all right. I mean, why are we parents if not to set our children in the right path? Mistakes are bound to happen and they will drift a little bit every now and then. And it's up to us to set them in the right path. Gracie is a really sweet girl. And I'm not just saying this because she's my daughter. She takes after her mother. And they're very, very kind-hearted. Gracie would rather put herself in danger than to harm someone else. She has a lot, a lot of love inside her and a lot of love to give. I'm really sorry. I, I, I promise I will never do something like that again. I'm so sorry, Grace. What do you have to say about that? Gracie? I forgive her. But she should learn to love herself enough, not to hurt other people's feelings. Then, then can we be friends? Can can you help me become a better person? Fine. But for us to be friends, you won't repeat what you did. I promise, I, I won't. So does that mean you're now friends? Hmm? Dad, to be my friend, she has to read about dinosaurs. Watch scary movie with me, um, ghost stories. Wow. <laughs> I love horror movies as well. Good. Then let me show you. Let me show her a collection of my spooky and scary stories. I have Wizard of Oz. I have um, I have Wow. Children. Like that is the ABC of their lives. Mm -hmm. You know what the Bible says? Until we have hearts like children, we will not be able to see the kingdom of heaven. True. But then, they're not children anymore. And they have to learn to take responsibility for their actions. And with every action comes with consequences. And until we teach them that now, we're leaving them to a world filled with cruelty and madness. It is my fault. I allowed her to get away with a lot of things. But an excuse that I and her father's divorce is taking a hard toll on her. I continue to enable her by making excuses. But the truth is, was I making these excuses for her or for myself for being a terrible mother? You're not a terrible mother. I mean, divorce takes a harsh toll on children. And separation does more damage to children than it does to the parents themselves. Hear me out. Children have a lot that they have to go through. From their hormones to their schoolwork to their crushes and their emotions. But when they're done with all of that and they have to come back to what they see to be home, and home is not what it is anymore because the mother is staying somewhere else or the father lives in a different city or a different country. It 
he was abusive. Not just emotionally, but physically. And I tried to hide it from my daughter and from the world several times. But the more I tried to cover it up, the more severe it became. So I had to summon up the courage to save myself. To be alive to raise my daughter. Or maybe I shouldn't have. No, no, don't say that. Hey. You made the right decision. No one said it's going to be a smooth ride, but a bumpy one. This too shall pass. It doesn't matter how far our kids drift. We just have to keep loving them until we bring them back on track. Okay? Yeah, I told you you like the property. Uh-huh. So yeah, that particular one is for sale. Yes. If you're renting, um, please, can I call you back? I will, I will. All right. That's true. Good afternoon, my darling. Did you go? went well. So how is she? She's fine. Guess what? What? They made up pretty well and they even became friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was sudden. Yeah, girl, listen. I really admire that family. Yeah. I mean, this guy is a single father, yet he manages to raise such an amazing girl. Oh my god. Very great bond. Yes, they do. Well, I am glad that she's friends with Erica. Who knows? Maybe their influence might rub off on us as well. So. What? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you staring at me like that? What's it? What do you think about going on dates? You know, giving love another chance. <laughs> Madam, see who is talking. What about you? What happened to you giving love another chance? My dear, in this world, there are two sets of people. <laughs> <laughs> we have the one that meet a man, fall in love, and get married. <laughs> then there's the other set. <laughs> we have to go through Father Abraham oh and his God. many sons. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where your friend falls. <laughs> no, please, no, seriously, do listen, girl. Look, I'm just trying to figure out my life right now, still trying to stay afloat, and just trying to get my job stabilized. So, mm -mm, nah. And who says you can do all at the same time? Through Christ that strengthens you. Listen, I don't, I don't think I'm ready, okay? How would you even know when you're ready if you're not even going to give it a thought? Kimmy, Kimmy, please. Okay, just stop. Okay, not now. <laughs> Let's take Gracie's dad, for instance. He's a single dad, you're a single mom. So tell me, if he comes and asks you out, you say no? No, no, no answer me. Will you, say, will you turn such a man down? He's an amazing dad. We both know he's a good father. He's a good man. And it seemed like he was a good husband to his late wife. So will you turn him down? Look, Kemi, Kemi, just drop it, okay? Stop, please. It looks like you started having those imaginations in your mind again. Stop it. And who says it's impossible? Well, it is. Listen, I mean, I don't think he has even looked at me in that manner before. And we were just parents trying to raise our kids. And nah, just thinking about it is crazy. Mm -mm, nah. Well, you're stuttering, and that's all I need. What? <laughs> what? Give me my phone. Wait, hold on. Kenny, what are you up to? No, actually, I am not ready. I can't stay. You have started again with all these crazy things you might Okay, give me back my phone. What are you doing?
mind. Sorry. Thanks for inviting us over to dinner. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed the food. Yes, I did. Of course. It was one of Gracie's favorites. Um, I thought Jollof was her favorite. Gracie has a lot of favorites. <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh, kids. <laughs> Would you ladies like some more wine? Um, yeah, sure, please. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, this part oh, calm down now, eh? Why are you taking life so serious? I mean, look at the adults. They are chilling. So, why can't we just chill? Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I'm actually serious. Come, let's pack this place. My bad. My bad. So, hands down. I need to quickly make a call. I'll be back. Please excuse me. Okay. That stunt you pulled today, don't do it again. Oh, are you sure about that? <laughs> are you really sure about that? Because from where I was seated, it seemed like you had a real nice time. I think serious <laughs> stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I won't invite him over for dinner anymore. I'll just ask him to invite us over instead. How about reciprocate the nice gesture? Stop it already. What's wrong with you? Oh, babe. Oh, you guys look <laughs> so good together. Like, I was just looking at you guys and looking at the girls and oh my god! I was almost like a stranger in my own home. Can you stop being silly? <laughs> oh my gosh, you like oh. Oh, oh babe, really, I really like him for you. I mean you deserve a second chance after all Kunle put you through. Besides, Grace is good for Erica. Hmm? Girl, I don't know. I really don't know. Babe, listen, don't think about this too much. If God is lighting your candle again, don't go blowing it off. You know what? I want you to take a deep breath and make a wish. You know, come on, come on, come on. Breathe in. Oh my goodness. In. Oh! <laughs> love, don't choke my girlfriend. Eden, <laughs> what is wrong with you? There is no <laughs> way to stop! Hi. Hey. Hi, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't wake you up. Uh, no, I am still very much awake. What's up? Um, okay. Um, um, I just wanted to ask if maybe you, me and you can, maybe I can take you out on a date. You know what? For, 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 forget, forget. I said anything. I, I was. I'm sorry. Maybe, 
maybe you, you, you didn't want to hear that or uh, um, uh, maybe yes yes Friday Friday Fri Friday I will come pick you up on Friday thank you <laughs> for what I, I don't I don't know um Okay, good night. <laughs> yes. <sighs> wow. Come here. Are you alright? Are you going to marry him? I beg your pardon. Gracie's dad. What is wrong with you? Where did you get that from? You said dad is getting married to someone else. And if you get married to another person, I will be left all alone. Erika, what are you blabbing about? Mom, I saw the way he looked at you all through the dinner. Do you know he did not look at any other person? He saw what? Mom, mm. mm. mm, please, don't marry him. Don't marry anybody. Mom, please, I need you, please. Erika? It's quite late, okay? So just go to bed. Mom, please. that's enough, Erica. Listen, I don't have the strength for any of your shenanigans this night, okay? Just go to bed. Okay? Mom, why can't you see my heart? Please, don't marry him. Don't marry anybody. Please don't leave me. Oh, please don't go away, please, I need you. <laughs> So tell me, did you have fun today with Erica? Sweetie, can I ask you something? Okay. Okay. Um, you know Miss Angela, right? She seems like a very nice woman, right? Okay, so I was thinking um, I, I, I seem to like her company and she makes everyone feel comfortable. Um, she brightens the room with her smile and I was just wondering if maybe I could ask her to go on a date with me. What do you think? Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. This is totally a bad idea. I shouldn't have asked her anything. Um, don't worry, I'm just gonna delete it from my mind because I know you're not okay with it. I was only just growing fond of her and uh, you know, all this just came out from nowhere and you like her? Um, sort of. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on, Dad. I knew this thing was going to come. Look, Mom is no longer here. And you can't stay single forever. Huh? Look, they're the best dad in the entire world. And of course, I won't want to share you with another person. But I just want you to be happy. 
I'm kind of shocked, really, <laughs> and I don't know what to say, but thank you. Uh, but I don't know if she's even going to say yes. Hey, Daddy, who dare says no to Mandem? That, that's not even possible. Has she met you? No. Ah. Have another Daddy. Okay, you know, if this kind of happens, that automatically means you and Erica are going to become... Sisters. Yeah, I, I mean, all this is not going to happen immediately. It, you know, it's going to take time and... Uh... Look, I don't even know what I'm saying. Really. Don't worry. I know Erica needs me as much as I need her. And plus, being an only child is frustrating. And it can be lonely sometimes. Why are you so perfect? Because you raised me. And because you taught me Bible study. <laughs> but you don't even like Bible studies. All you want to read are dinosaurs and mermaids. <laughs> I don't have to like it to understand it. Oh. <laughs> Come here, my honey pie. Mm. <laughs> you can't wait to sleep. I love you, sweetie. I love you too. All right. Good night. Good night, sweetie. <sighs> so when you're going on that date, you better tell me. Why? So you can tell me what to wear. Maybe a tuxedo. No, it's not a wedding. <laughs> okay, smack. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so how do I look? Restored, but what are you doing? Final checks, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, Erica, Erica, how do I look? How does your mother look? Hmm. What? Hmm. You look better in blue. Huh? Uh, let me go and get No, it. no, 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 no. No, but seriously, come on. How do I look? Seriously. Pretty. Oh. You always look pretty. I mean, it doesn't matter what you wear, you will always come out pretty. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Okay, let me go. There Hold on. There's something I would like to tell you. <sighs> Listen. I am sorry that my decision to leave your dad spoiled your perfect little world. I had no choice but... I knew. You knew? The walls are thin, Mom. Sometimes I I hear you cry yourself to sleep. He yells at you and then he hits you. I didn't like it. But then I thought it was easier living in denial than to accept the fact that you might get a divorce someday. Mom, I've seen students in my school whose parents are divorced. I didn't want to end up like them. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry I ignored your pain. No. No. You did nothing wrong. Okay? I am your mother. And it is my job to protect you. I'm sorry I failed you. I'm sorry I let this whole thing get to you. But I can still call him, right? Of course you can. Okay? You can call your dad. Listen. Don't let whatever issues I have with him interfere with the relationship you have with him, okay? He is a great father to you, and so you should always make him proud. Thanks, Mom. Come here. Oh, oh you're going to bring your makeup. Oh, <laughs> my hard work. <laughs> Come here. Stop, come here. I'm your mommy. Give me a hug. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. Tell me, how do I look? <laughs> Dad, 
Your look is giving. You look like a 10 over 10 minus nothing. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So I look good. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you ready? Dad. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know Erica's mom makes good chill of her, so this better work out. So that's all you're bothered about? Kind of. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I go in. Dad, why are you worried? What? Stop fidgeting. Just ask her out the same way you asked mom out. Asked mom out? Me? I didn't ask mom out. How? Your mom asked me out. Guys, come in. Have your Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll go get her. Okay, all right, all right. What is it because of what I told you? I already told you the truth. What? Why are you giving me the flowers? An agreement, you're supposed to be in with me. Dad, wait. I'm still in shock. This is unbelievable. Oh, stop. How do I look? Mm. Hmm? Are you serious? You told me I look good a minute ago. You just told me that. You look good. I just want to know. You can't look with your eyes. What? Hi. Hi. So, uh, I'm going to go meet Erica. <laughs> Um, you look beautiful tonight. Thank you. Just like the flowers. <laughs> the flowers are for me? Exactly. <laughs> the flowers are for you. Thank you. Uh, we can go? Exactly. Um, we should go. I'm, I'm so sorry. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Wait. Ladies first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I hope he does not ruin things. That rusty old man. Mom! <sighs> so unbelievable. Erica! Hey. So this is exactly two hours, 38 minutes and five seconds right there. Ah, what a mess. What happened? You worried right about your mom. You think they're going to get married? Yeah, hopefully. You want it? Yeah. I mean, I need your mom. I really miss my mom. But the hard truth is that she's never coming back. With my dad, I miss him so much. But he has a new wife, and we're never going to be together again. I can always visit him. Just
just don't leave me. I don't want people leaving me again, please. I promise I will never leave you if we become sisters. And what if we don't? I promise. I'll never leave you. <laughs> you know, sometimes love is all we need. <laughs> sometimes in our lives. Oh, it's true, you don't know the song. Don't worry, I'll teach you. Um, I, I I, actually do. I learned it the same day I heard you singing with your dad. Oh, <laughs> then join me. <laughs> Sometimes in our life, we all have pain. We all have sorrows. But if we are wise, we know that there's Always tomorrow, lean on me when you're not strong. Um, thank you for dinner. I really enjoyed myself. The pleasure is all mine. I'm glad you had fun. Um, Angela, you you are. I mean, we are both adults, parents, and I'm not trying to waste your time or trying to play any games. What I'm trying to say is. At this point in our lives, we we should be able to identify what we want and go for it without wasting any time or playing any games. True. I want to go out with you. I want to date you. I want you to be my woman. I want you to be my lady. I want to be with you. And if this goes well, I want to wife you in the future. I know you don't love me right now and I know all this might seem too sudden. But I think you're a very beautiful woman. And I'm really attracted to you. I just wish that you can give me the chance to make this happen. And if this might help, I think Gracie really likes a jello fries. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um. But you're right. I'm not in love with you yet, but that does not mean it can't be a future possibility. I mean, I um, I admire you a lot, and even I want to give this a chance. And I promise you won't regret it. Can I kiss you? Okay. What are they doing? Oh my gosh. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, Dad. Gracie? Um, why do you have your backpack? Oh, we're having a sleepover at our place. Uh, did you check in with me first, Erica? You too, Mom. All four of us. And I have a change of clothes and your toiletries. What? Wow, Gracie. Come on, guys. We let you have dinner. So we call the shots for the night. Yes. It's going to be fun. We're even going to play games. 
and I'm going to read for you a story and Bible study. <laughs> oh yes. Mm. Did you lock the door? Oh, yes. Auntie Kemi knows about it. Huh? Wow. So, let's get in. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm in a full house. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we've just been kidnapped. Yes. Someone please call 911. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Me close. 